Kaffendal Tenerhead Traverse is a complex contra road which includes four smaller unnamed passes along its 27 km length. The road generally remains at the 2,600 meter contour level and the vast majority of the route comprises contour road driving as it follows the shapes of the hills and buttresses. In perfect weather the route is doable in a high clearance 4x2 with diff lock but when things get muddy or snowy it's definitely a 4x4 route. Although the road gets quite rough in places these don't last long and most of this route is grade 1 to 2. The road connects the Tiffendal Ski Resort in the west with the Tannerhead Lodge in the east and provides a shorter but slower alternative to the Nordia's Neck Pass. Beyond the Tannerhead Lodge, the road connects at the Nordia's Neck Lookout Point at 2,500 meters above sea level. Although we've named this route the TTT, which stands for the Tiffendal Tannerhead Traverse, it aptly describes the purpose of the road and this is a more modern take on its routing. It has three alternative names used by the locals, which are the Cantool Road, the Patrollipat and the Grenspat. There are two small patrol huts linked with radio sets and solar powered, which can be seen along the route. These are occupied by youngsters who keep an eye on the hillsides and relay any suspicious activity to the main sap space at Cantool, from where the heavyweights are then dispatched. The TTT can be reached from the west via either the Volunteers Hook Pass, which is a 4x4 only route, or the Carlisle's Hook Spread Pass. The western start is officially at the Tiffendal Ski Resort. For those wanting to approach from the east, drive to the summit viewpoint of the Nodiers Neck Pass and take the gravel road to the left marked Tenerhead Lodge. Continue for 4 kilometers to arrive at the Tenerhead Lodge, which is the eastern starting point of the TTT. We filmed this route from west to east. Just to clarify matters, the TTT is essentially a 27 km long high altitude contour road which more or less remains at the 2600 meter contour except for the start and end sections. There are a total of four small passes included in the route of which the biggest is the final descent into the Bell River Valley close to the end of the TTT. Turn left onto this track at the open farm gate and remain on it for the next 25 kilometers. It's not easy getting lost from here as there are no more roads or intersections whatsoever. This is the last frontier so to speak, so prepare yourself for a fairly long and bumpy journey and allow between two and two and a half hours to complete the trip. If you've not yet deflated your tires, do so now and take them down to around 1.2 bar to ensure good traction, a more comfortable ride and a third bonus is the reduction in the likelihood of getting a puncture. All distances quoted are measured from Tiffendal and not from the gate. The first part of the route rises slowly via many gentle turns as the road follows the northern side of the deep ravine carved out by the oddly named Upper Knoppishook Spreit. Make sure your camera batteries are fully charged as the next two hours are a photographer's dream with green rolling hills, steep sided gorges and steep ravines, rushing streams, alpine type flowers and well fed cattle. This route plus the Ben McDewey Pass have added two more great adventure drives to the existing Big 8 and now form part of the Ben 10 Eco Challenge. There are six farm gates along the route, each should be left as you find it. Some of the gates are in a rickety condition, but they still perform their function adequately. Before you drive this route, consider your safety carefully in terms of your plan B, communications, recovery gear and weather forecasts. Be sure to watch parts 2, 3 and 4 of this wonderful contour drive.